In this video, we'll look at creating and managing coordinate systems in the mechanical application. In any mechanical system, you'll find a coordinate systems branch in the tree. Within that coordinate systems branch, you will always find a global coordinate system. This is a Cartesian reference system. There are, however, many situations where you might find it useful to create user-defined coordinate systems. User-defined coordinate systems can be used to reference load locations and directions, to apply meshing controls, to transform results, as well as a number of other operations. User-defined systems can be both Cartesian or cylindrical systems. To create a cylindrical system, you simply change that reference in the details for a particular coordinate system. Now, user systems can be defined as associative coordinate systems or non-associative. An associate coordinate system means that we've referenced some part of the geometry and the definition of that coordinate system. By being associative, it means if your geometry updates, that is, a location of a particular feature changes, and you have referenced a coordinate system, that coordinate system location will change when the geometry updates. In the case shown here, we've referenced the circular opening of this whole feature. Non-associative coordinate systems simply reference global Cartesian locations for their origin. Now to create a user coordinate system, you first of all want to have your coordinate system branch highlighted. If you're creating an associative system, you'll want to select some part of the geometry. In this case, I'll select a surface. And then we use the icon in the coordinate systems toolbar and that creates the system. Now in this case the centroid of the surface is used as the origin but that might not be exactly the location that I want. Uh, in those cases I can add what are called transforms uh, and that's what's shown in the toolbar for the coordinate systems. We have delta offsets in various coordinate directions. For instance I may want to offset in the z direction. When I add each one of these transforms it shows up in the detail for the currently active coordinate system. So if I scroll down, I see a Z offset transform. I can input a value in here, and you notice that the coordinate system uh, updates automatically. Other transforms allow us to change the direction of specific axes. We can add rotations, uh, and so forth. If we've added multiple transforms, we may want to change the order of those, and that's what this icon over here will allow us to do. We can select various transforms and move them up or down in the list. Similarly, we can delete transforms if they're no longer required. Now again, if we highlight the coordinate systems branch, we'll see all of the currently defined coordinate systems are displayed, but if we move to other areas uh, of our analysis, you notice that they are not displayed, but it might be useful uh, from time to time to have those displayed. And the icon is up in the graphics preferences. Uh, it's a little icon that looks like a coordinate system. Again, if we toggle that on, all of the currently defined coordinate systems are displayed. Once again, we can toggle it off in the same location.